Founded in the year 2000, a full two years before SpaceX, Blue Origin has surprisingly got very little to show for in these 21 years. The only flex for Blue Origin right now is that its founder, Jeff Bezos, went to space before Elon Musk. However, there was a ray of hope when Blue Origin announced New Glenn back in September 2016, their first orbital class launch vehicle which at the same time is partially reusable. We have already discussed about New Glenn in a previous video on this channel. And in all honesty, New Glenn is better than Falcon Heavy in many ways. You see, even though Falcon Heavy is the most powerful launch vehicle currently in operation, its biggest limiting factor is its payload volume. Falcon Heavy basically uses the same fairing as that of Falcon 9. This means that even though Falcon Heavy can take 30 metric tons to low earth orbit in reusable configuration, it does not provide any extra volume to accommodate this added mass. This is one of the primary reasons why we haven't seen many Falcon Heavy launches so far. So when New Glenn was announced in 2016, it had a very good selling point. For starters, New Glenn can take 45 metric tons to low earth orbit in its reusable configuration. But unlike Falcon Heavy, New Glenn actually provides a lot of wiggle room for its customers. In fact, New Glenn will have a payload volume of 458 cubic meters, which is twice more than any other existing launch vehicle. For comparison, Falcon Heavy has a payload volume of only 145 cubic meters. We will bring Starship to the scene later in the video. So as you can clearly see this, New Glenn can launch heavier payload and at the same time provide more payload volume than any other launch vehicle in operation. Quite a good deal for the customers in my opinion. But Blue Origin has got two major problems. First, the launch for New Glenn just keeps getting pushed ahead. In 2016 for instance, it was expected to launch in 2020. By 2018, the first launch was already pushed ahead to late 2021. And in February this year, it was again delayed to the fourth quarter of 2022, which in rocket industry means no earlier than second half of 2023. The second problem for Blue Origin is that their competitor, SpaceX, just moves so damn fast. Just look at this. In 2019, SpaceX had no manufacturing or launch facility for Starship. And in just two years, we have seen a successful high altitude flight test multiple short hop tests, static fire test for super heavy booster prototype, and obviously rapid unscheduled disassemblies. Not to mention the first orbital flight test which is just around the corner. This rapid development of Starship is surely a bad news for Blue Origin. If Starship goes operational next year, New Glenn might just become obsolete even before reaching the launch pad. Remember bringing Starship into the scene? Here you have it. As you might know, Starship can launch more than 100 metric tons to low earth orbit and the payload volume for Starship is 1100 cubic meters, more than twice that of New Glenn. Now you might argue that Starship is a super heavy lift launch vehicle while New Glenn is a heavy lift launch vehicle, which is completely fair. But it's important to understand that Starship isn't any other super heavy lift launcher like say the space launch system. Starship is designed to be fully reusable. This means that once manufactured, SpaceX can launch a Starship multiple times. And to launch a reused Starship, SpaceX just needs to pay for the fuel. For SpaceX, the cost for launching a reused Starship will remain the same whether they are launching a single Starlink satellite or a cluster of 400 Starlinks. This capability of Starship to launch wide range of payload mass to low Earth orbit and that too at a fraction of New Glenn's launch price creates a huge problem for Blue Origin. However, Jeff Bezos has got a plan and it's called Project Jarvis. As we just saw, the biggest concern for Blue Origin is New Glenn's not so reusable second stage. With a diameter of 7 meters and two vacuum optimized BE3 engines, the second stage is surely expensive. So in order to solve this, Blue Origin engineers are reportedly working on a reusable second stage for New Glenn which will be manufactured from, wait for it, 304 stainless steel 
which if you don't know yet, is exactly the same material that SpaceX is using for its Starship and Super Heavy. What's interesting is that Jeff Bezos is probably leading the project himself. By making both the first and second stage reusable, New Glenn can potentially compete with Starship at least in terms of cost per kilogram to orbit. By reusing the second stage, New Glenn's payload to low Earth orbit will surely decrease. However, similar to Starship, Blue Origin will need to pay just the cost of fuel for a fully reusable New Glenn. This means that at least in terms of cost per kilogram, New Glenn will potentially be competitive with SpaceX's Starship. But all this is just on paper right now. New Glenn is still yet to fly. The BE-4 engine that powers the first stage has been plagued with a lot of problems and overall the pace of development at Blue Origin is surprisingly slower when compared to SpaceX. Another concern with Project Jarvis is that a stainless steel second stage might just complicate the New Glenn design even more. Using drastically different materials for different stages of New Glenn would potentially increase the manufacturing time for the launch vehicle. One of the main reasons why SpaceX can manufacture a Starship and Super Heavy prototype so quickly is that they have basically the same external structures. Both the stages of Starship have 9 meter diameter stainless steel rings stacked on top of each other with just different internal structures. This drastically simplifies the manufacturing process for Starship. However, with an aluminium first stage booster and a stainless steel second stage, the Blue Origin engineers will have to shuffle through different materials and manufacturing techniques. Apart from this, one of the biggest problems with stainless steel is that it's very heavy. Starship for instance has a dry mass of more than 120 metric tons. But SpaceX's Raptor engine has been specifically developed with this challenge in mind. However, at Blue Origin, the rocket engines for New Glenn have been designed for the aluminium second stage and not for the stainless steel version. This means that the engineers working on Project Jarvis will have to completely redesign the upper stage for the New Glenn and either upgrade the existing engines or design a new one right from scratch. In addition to this, it is not clear how Blue Origin plans to land the second stage. Given that Jeff Bezos has taken some inspiration from Starship, it won't be a surprise if the New Glenn second stage performs a similar landing maneuver like Starship. Given all these challenges, it is quite obvious that the initial New Glenn launches will not have a reusable second stage. Based on the latest information, Jeff Bezos has separated the team working on Project Jarvis from the rest of Blue Origin and has also told the team to innovate in an atmosphere free from management pressure an approach similar to SpaceX's rapid iterative development philosophy. And quite naturally, the work on the Project Jarvis has been advancing quite quickly. Based on the available information, the initial tank testing will probably begin in 2-3 to three months from now. If these tests prove the feasibility of the stainless steel approach for the new Glenn, then it is expected that further testing will continue from there on. For now at least, Blue Origin's plan is to launch new Glenn initially with an expendable second stage before transitioning to a fully reusable upper stage in the mid-2020s. With this development, one thing is completely clear now. In order to compete with SpaceX to launch heavier payloads, Blue Origin needs a fully reusable launch system. What do you think? Will Blue Origin actually succeed in creating a fully reusable new Glenn? Let me know in the comment section. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.